last year. I had a lot of good, good bucks cruising through here. Last evening, I came in here to hang this set because I didn't want to do it this morning because I'm close to the bedding. I came in here, hung this set, and as I was up trying to get the saddle, the platform on the tree, I had a little spike come up out of the draw behind me. It's probably the same spike I saw opening morning. When he came up right under me and he worked out into the bean field. We're going to hang tight till about 9 o'clock. Then, then my girlfriend's got to go to work. So I'm going to go home and hang out with the kids for a little bit. And I'll be back for the evening. It's two days now after I shot my buck. I'm heading back in. I'm not hunting today. I do got the bow just because this property has a bunch of coyotes and stuff all over the place. But I'm just walking in. I'm going to pull my set down and I kind of wanted to talk 
about the hunt from the other day because I didn't really do too much of that. It was pretty emotional for me. Um, my arrow, when I shot, deflected off the only branch that was between me and him. And it was a really small branch, but it still deflected enough that ultimately it was a bad shot and I hit him in the spine, which I never want to do. I tried to make another quick follow-up shot on him and that one also I think I just rushed it and made a bad shot so I climbed down and I had to put another one into him to finish him off. Right here's the tree I was in. A little closer. Very top of it. Right there is a branch that my shot deflected off of. So there's the platform. Somewhere there. Right there. And it deflected off the top of that. And he was coming right down this trail right here. He came out of the beans right in that little opening. And he was coming down through here on this trail. And that branch right there is the reason I had a bad hit. I really wanted to talk about this and how this hunt 100% is going to change everything I felt about archery hunting. You know, you practice and you practice and you practice all summer for, you know, one shot and you never really expect it to go the way that it does. But I really didn't expect that at all. I just, I went home that day afterwards and was shooting at targets. I wanted to make sure that, you know, the bow wasn't off and it was me. And I didn't even know what happened until a couple hours later when I was watching the video over and over and over and over. I, just, I had no clue why the shot ended up hitting him in the spine at like 12 yards, you know. And I, I had my pin at like the lower third of his body and after I watched the video several several times I finally saw the little branch that the arrow hit and deflected and that's also why my knock flew off because I had no idea why that happened either but now I know and I'm just learning from it and I'm gonna post this video so other people can see that you know this does happen.